This is a video trip report for the Illinois River between 900 and 1,000 CFS. It was in that flood range almost the entire time. And these are just reports where I share video from the trip, video that I took, and share some thoughts about the rapids that I have at this particular flow. So before here, it was a few miles of warm-up rapids. The biggest drop up, up above was probably Briggs Creek Rapid. And this is the first kind of significant drop. This is a class three, and this occurs just after Panther Creek enters from the right. Panther Creek is super visible, and it's a series of three drops. That was the first one. And this next one is the second Panther Creek drop. And this one's actually two different parts, but it's pretty straightforward. Again, this is just a nice warm up for what's downstream. It's nice not to jump into bigger rapids right away. And again, this is like class two and class three. Well, here, this is, I would still call this the second drop. There's this fun little maneuver here before we get to the flat water before the third drop. And this is the exact line I take at almost all flows. Just a tight little line there. There's other ways to do it, but that's the way that I generally go, and it works for me pretty well. So we had five boats this trip. It was pretty fun. If you look back, that was pretty cool boat spacing. And the third drop um, occurs after that rock. And so at higher flows, I go left of that rock. At lower flows, I go to the right. At all levels, you want to kind of get out in the middle, go around this rock I'm passing on the right, and then get back pretty far to the right. There are some rocks in the middle that create holes. And so you could probably go over these holes now, but I think it's good practice for higher levels to run this kind of right side right there. So you want to get there, plop through that, and then it's just kind of a wave train down the middle. And below here are, is Labrador Creek Rapids. So I'm going to call that the Panther Creek Rapids because there are three of them. And now Labrador Creek enters on the left. You don't always see it. It's not super visible. And right here is where the wilderness boundary starts. So this is where you enter the Kamiopsis Wilderness. And this is just a fun little rapid. It's kind of fun at higher flows too. There's some holes in here you want to miss. This At this level, I'm just going to kind of push left. The higher levels, I might start more right and get left. But again, just a nice little warm up. Below here, and I didn't get video of the next one, are, is Gnome Creek Rapid. So there's another flat spot you see at the bottom of this rapid. Gnome Creek very obviously comes in from the right. And Gnome Creek Rapid is coming up next. So the next rapid down here around a couple, like a big corner, is Rocky Top. And this is one of the more dangerous rapids because there's a big rock in the middle of the river that you can kind of see. Uh, it's out of the view now, but you can kind of see there that you can easily wrap on. It's also undercut. It would not be fun to hit it or swim there. So if I can, I go as right as I can. And there's a couple of challenging sneak rights on the right, which I like. I'll usually take the more difficult line that's lower consequences. So if you go over here on the right, the consequences are generally just kind of getting stuck versus if you take the easier line down the middle, you could end up hitting that rock. And I've seen some close calls on that rock. So I'm going to make try to make this challenging line over here on the right. You can see that big rock in the middle now, kind of right in front of me. There's lines there for sure, but you wouldn't want to miss them. And by going down that right channel, it's kind of nice. And there's an even further right channel that I sometimes do at higher water just to miss that rock. And it's always good to get past this one. This is the first class four, and also one of the more dangerous because that rock is kind of nasty. This next rapid is really shallow. It's called Rock Garden North, and it's named after Rock Garden on the Tuolumne River where the river is really shallow and spread out like this, and the lines are just difficult to find and make it through. So this is a, a tricky little one. The consequence of a mistake is generally just getting stuck somewhere and being embarrassed and pushing. Uh, at higher water, it's of course, it's easier. At lower water, this one's really hard. But one of the key things here is once you get past all this rock garden stuff, there is kind of a rapid down here. And I generally try to drive right at all flows. There's a wall down here. You see that wall on the left? The water kind of pushes into it, so I'm trying to drive pretty hard right down here to miss that wall. This is York Creek Rapid. York Creek Rapid is awesome. York Creek comes in on the right just above here. A lot of times people miss it. It's a beautiful creek to look up. There's some cool waterfalls. And you go through this first initial drop. Sometimes I shaboying off this rock, which I did in this trip. It's cooler to miss the rock, but shaboying, like you don't hit it too hard, but like hitting it a little bit and pushing momentum to the right is kind of nice. And there's two distinct, two distinct drops. This is the first one, and I try to get pretty far right here if I can. That left side is sort of nasty. 
Uh, and if you can get right, it's not a big deal. It kind of pushes you through these waves, these little holes. And it's kind of fun to do here. And you can go through here, and you kind of want to be on the right, kind of if you can. Uh, either way, there's a big C here. The river kind of goes around a bend. And I have to pull away from the rock. I get too far right. But you want to cut the C because there's a big hole in the middle of the second drop. So I'm going to, and most flows. So I'm going to pull pretty hard to the right here to cut this C and get to the right of the big hole down here. And just clean fun. Your Creek Rapid is so awesome at pretty much every level. And also pretty challenging. Like it's a solid class four. Coming up next is the goat. This is kind of like the end of Rock Garden North. And you really want to try to get right. I'm going to take this shallow line on the right because I don't want to get shoved in that wall down there. And this right line is shallow and tricky and there's some like weird rocks you could get stuck on. So be careful if you go right. That rock to my left right there looks like it's sharp. But the nice thing about this far right line is you miss any chance of getting slammed into that wall on the left. And I'm telling them to get even more right, which they, they do. And below here is Clear Creek. And I like to sometimes if my boat spacing's off or I'm not sure what the line is, I'll catch this eddy right here and just take a look. And there's a few different lines here, like especially different flows. And I've seen more flips here than any other rapid. So uh, I'm, I'm usually pretty cautious here. We chose at this level to go down pretty far right in the entrance and make this big cut across above the rocks. And it's hard. Um, there is another line uh, where you go, it's really hard to explain. You start right, but you go between some rocks that get you sort of middle and help you avoid the rock down there. Uh, again, that's hard to explain. I'm not sure I'm explaining it well, but maybe we'll see it here for a second. So I'm coming down and I'm gonna go, I'm pretty far right here. But if I go to, to my left right now, there's a drop there you can go over if you get it right and miss these rocks. When you go pretty far right like this, this pull across is tricky. And it is possible to go far right there, it's just kind of messy. So there's some options here. I took the one again that I thought was more difficult and conservative. Uh, yeah, here we are at rapid number 29. I love this right side. This day today, I probably shouldn't have done the right side. It's probably too low. But I know from my time on the Tuolumne, it's, you can get boats to do stuff like this. And so right now you don't see it, but there's a paddle boat behind us catching up to us and ramming us. So every so often we're getting pushed by a paddle boat and then down that right chute. The beautiful thing about that right chute is it's just kind of fun, uh, but also it sets you up really nicely to surf this pour over, which in a gear boat is tricky, but this pour over right here makes a good raft surf. So we got our, we got our oar boat in there a little bit, but if you're in a paddle boat, if you shove your bow in there and people paddle, it's a fun place to surf. And here's another kind of surf spot, but not really. All right, this is quite a bit down, downstream. We camped at Pine Flat this night, and we're on our day two. We went down to, to uh, Dead Man's Bar, and there's two rapids in this section. The first one's Wall Banger. It's called Wall Banger because you can bang into this wall, and it's a tricky one, and I think I lost my oar here, yeah. So I didn't hit the wall, but I hate letting go of my oar. It's such bad form, especially handle forward. To me, that's bad form. I'm not impressed, but it worked out. Uh, this is the bottom of Time Warp, the other big rapid in this, in this section. And there's a tight line left of that hole, sorry, right of that hole, left of that rock. So you kind of have to go between the hole and the rock, and it's it's a tough one. So it kind of comes up on you quickly as well. Kind of, it's a really slow section up above. I didn't have video of the, the easy entrance, but it quickly puts you into the hole, which you may or may not see. Okay, here we are the next day. And this is the beginning of the hard section. Now, this is Prelude. We just passed South Bend. And Prelude is a tricky first rapid for sure. And the, this is like a four mile section of rapids we're entering. And there's a tight, sorry, this is all called, also called Fawn Falls. So this has two names, Fawn Falls or Prelude. I like Fawn Falls more. I'm not sure why I just called it Prelude. But anyway, there's a far left channel here that you wouldn't see if you didn't know it was there. Like you would be tempted to go down the middle some of those lines go, but at this level, this like 1,000-ish CFS level, they're pretty weird. And this channel is so fun. Uh, you just want to like take your time above it, make sure you get set up well, and properly ship both oars. When I say properly ship, that means blades forward, handles back. That's how you ship. Handles forward is not shipping. That's just bad form. So anyway, fun little drop through there. 
All right, good warm up because Greenwall's next. And here we are, Greenwall. Awesome rapid. A lot of you probably have seen it, have heard about it, watch other videos of it. And I'm the second boat today. The first boat's a little bit ahead, just so we have some space. We also have downstream safety. There are people with throw bags at the bottom in case the first or second boat has a problem. And to me, I break this into three acts. Right now, we're in the first act, and you do not want to underestimate the first act. People are so focused on the big part that they mess up here. And I think that's the cause of most problems is a mistake here. So you go between these rocks just like this. You want to finish pointed to the left. And if you're in a heavy boat, your boat will track left. And there's a big hole right here. Let's see in a second. That hole to my right, you want to miss. And so if you track left, like I just did, you can miss that hole. So through the, through the first act is through those rocks, point left, track left to miss the hole. Now you have a little bit of time. And at this level, I like to take what I call door number one. People name these doors differently. I'm gonna call this door number one. And I start over here on the left side so I can build left to right momentum. You cannot go straight into this. I don't think you can. You kind of have to come in from the side like I am and do an airplane turn. So I'm ferrying over left to right, shift the oars, this drop goes. You might hit the rock wall there sometimes if you do. Not a big deal. We're done with the second act. Now the third act, there's this big hole at the bottom and you just want, oh, there's a brown claw. I had to brown claw Brody. I think I got a shrink back. Anyway, I by brown clawing, I got too far left to start. I needed to get back to the middle, but you want to get middle and then right here, you ideally you're driving left and do an okay job of it through the hole. It's a 16 foot gear boat, goes to the hole. I tried to ship, I didn't make it. Again, handle forward, bad form. I was super stoked on the line, except I, I let go of my oar, which to me is a big no-no. Okay, here we are. This is my Nemesis Rapid, little green wall coming up. This one's just messy. Uh, you can have the perfect green wall line and get destroyed in little green wall. It's just, it's hard to scout, although you can scout it. And even if you do, the end of it's mischievous. Uh, when I do it at pretty much every flow, I like to take this center entrance, which isn't obvious. Uh, it looks like it wants you to go right, but right's kind of, there's some big holes if you go right. So I like this center line. If you time it well, you kind of plow through it all. And there's a big hole in the right there. That's why the big reason I take that center line is to avoid that hole. Then you have a little bit of time and you're gonna go through this right side. And this right side is messy. That big rock on the left, you can flip on. I learned that recently. But if you can get close to it, you're done. You can also go, there's that right channel over there we call the spank tunnel. You will go through there sometimes, it's not fun. Uh, I haven't seen a boat flip there, but I've seen a lot of weird stuff happen. So that's a little green wall. I was pretty stoked on that line, but um, it's a tough rapid. Next up is Sweeney Todd. At this level, it's fairly straightforward. As it drops, it gets a lot harder. And you can see a little rock popping up there to my right. That rock is very mischievous. And so this is not that hard of a level, but as it drops, it's that this rapid is one of the hardest. And I'd say 600 CFS and below potentially the hardest rapid, most mischievous rapid on the river because of that rock. Next up, this is rapid 103. This is a really fun one, really beautiful one. It's just wide enough for your raft to here. You gotta get your boat set up perfectly, go between the rocks. And there's another rock down here below. Sometimes you go right, sometimes you go left. At lower flows, it takes you right. Sometimes it sends you into that rock too. Okay, here we are. This is, this looks like holy poly and at this level it's hard to do the traditional center entrance it's possible but i really like this far right entrance it's slightly terrifying it doesn't look like you'll make it and at times it's kind of nerve-wracking but it definitely goes takes some good ore shipping uh, which i like it's clean if you do it right if you take the normal center lines i do a higher water uh, you can get stuck up there there's some really weird rocks and there's a flip rock and i think a sieve on the left so i really like going right there although it is tricky and it's called holy poly because there's lots of holes at this level not so much but at a lot of different levels there are a lot of holes and we're getting towards the end this is we made a good distance there's really one more big rapid in this bottom section called submarine hole and here we are the move i've been doing lately and it's kind of nerve wracking is to go through this entrance and point left and it kind of tracks you left. Watch how much I'm tracking left. I 
hit this hole though. Oh. That hole kind of messed him up. But you don't want to track. I tracked too much left. But I was able to fix it here. Kind of bump off the rock. And ooh, I'm too some water. And I go through this narrow channel. I've seen a boat flip hitting this this left chan this left wall, so you gotta be really careful here. Not to ride up on that wall. And then through the channel. Not my cleanest line, but it wasn't terrible either. You try you really don't want to go right there. Um, I hit the rock there and I went left. You really don't want to go to the right. You'll probably make it, but it's kinda ugly. And then a little bit down, this is rapid number 131, the last rapid in the video. It's kind of one of my favorites. I'm I'm pretty excited about this one when I go through it. I it's hard to stay dry. Because there's always something that splashes. I think it stayed dry this time, but usually at this point in the day, maybe take a layer off and you want to stay dry. This one surprises you. But really fun rapid. There's a camp below here, rapid number 131 camp. I've never camped at. I'd like to. So that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. If you have questions, comments, thoughts, put them in the comments, and we'll see you in the next one.